Welcome to our review of Aventuria Wheel of Life, an expansion for the Aventuria adventure card game. Thanks to Ulysses Spiel for providing us with a ton of Aventuria content to check out, including this expansion. Aventuria Wheel of Life was designed by Michael Palm and Lucas Zach, two names I've been saying a lot because they're on every Aventuria product, as far as I can tell. It features artwork by Nadine Sacco, again, same name as on the corset. It was published by Ulysses Spiel in 2019 and is being distributed in North America by Studio 2 Publishing. This is an expansion for the Aventuria Adventure card game and does require the core box to be of any use. This expansion has a MSRP in North America of $24.95 US dollars. Now, Wheel of Life is more of an accessory for fans of Aventuria rather than an expansion. Though there is one small addition to the game in the form of the dragon token. Now, the main thing you are getting in this box, though, are 11 wheel style health counters and hero tokens featuring new artwork. You can see these life counters and tokens in our Wheel of Life unboxing video on YouTube. Now, the contents of this box are pretty much exactly what you'd expect from that description. A very small two-sided sheet of rules and assembly instructions, a bunch of punch boards, and a baggie holding plastic screws for holding the wheels together. Punch boards contain 11 two-part life counters, and there are also punch boards with a number of character counters and the dragon counter. And these were really well punched, mm. literally falling out as you lifted the boards at times. Yes. Actually, I had a hard time keeping it in the box because everything had fallen apart. I ended up having to punch it all just to reseal the box at the end of the unboxing video. Now, of note here is the fact that connectors for these life counters are screws and can be undone once you've assembled your light counters. Something you're not going to be used to if you're like, you play X-Wing or Fantasy Flight games where they snap together and they don't come apart. Now, the reason you want to take them apart is the fact that almost all of these life counters feature gender-swapped versions on the characters on the flip side. And this is also where those character counters come in. They feature the same gendered swap images. Note, the actual gender-swapped hero cards aren't included here. These were offered as promo cards at adventure events and tournaments and should also be available through Studio 2. Ironically, my copies of these cards showed up today. <laughs> I haven't even opened the package yet, though. Bravo for offering a variety of genders to play, even with the same character, but a bit confusing to have things spread out among different expansions the way they are. Well, it's not actually expansions. So these gender swap hero cards are promos. So these are the kind of things you get by taking part in public play events or going to an organized play event or going to a con. It's not like you can buy a gender swap box set or that say the forest of life comes with a gender swap hero one. These are actually promos you had to earn, I guess, is the way they put it. Now, another thing I do want to note, this expansion is 100% multilingual. All of the components here are language independent, except for the instructions, which are a two-sided slip of paper that is in German and English. And even the box cover presents the name of the expansion, Wheel of Life, as Rad de Lieben in German underneath. So what is all this new stuff used for in a game of Aventuria? So the main purpose of the Wheel of Life expansion for Aventuria is to provide you with an alternative to using cards to track your health during the game. Using these wheels to assemble, uh, assemble it for the hero of your choice, picking whichever artwork you want to use, set the dial to the appropriate starting life, and adjust during play. There are enough screws in the box you can actually assemble all 11 wheels. You don't have to keep swapping up which ones. You can just build them all and put them somewhere. And uh, which is a big help in not having to worry about bumping your Euchre-style health tracking cards mm -hmm. and forgetting what your health was. The amusing thing I found about this expansion is the fact that as far as I can tell, the first printing of Aventuria used these, and then they went to the cards, and then people gave them a bunch of negative feedback about the cards, so they put out this expansion. I don't know exactly what went there. I think this only happened mainly in the German version, but like the Forest of uh, No Return expansion comes with a new character that has a wheel instead of a card. So there was some back and forth with this at some point. Now, the new character tokens are used to replace the tokens you already own when playing a gender swap version of the character. There's nothing new to see here. Like, the, the, it's not a new piece, but it is new art for existing pieces. 
<clears throat> of course, if you don't have the expansion with the gender swap cards, it's only of questionable value. Although you can at least have a gender swap token and wheel, so you can kind of do it part way. Now, the dragon token is the last thing. So this is a small expansion that can be used in any of your games of Venturia, both during a dual or a cooperative adventure. Now, what the dragon token does is it replaces one of the fate tokens in your game. It starts in the center of the table with the other fate tokens, and whenever a player earns a fate token, they can instead take the dragon token. Now, the dragon token can be spent at any time to make an opponent re-roll a rope. When spent, it goes back to the center of the table, just like a fate token. Note, though, the dragon token doesn't count as a fate token for cards and rules. It's not counted when determining the target of an attack or for any other ability that would affect the fate pool, like the orc shaman we complained about in a previous episode who removed fate tokens from the game. So now does it, So, but it does replace one of the initial counts. So you don't get yes. your two, pl two per player plus a dragon it's yes. two per player, minus one at a dragon. That's correct. You swap out one of the existing fate tokens for the dragon token. Well, it's a fun little upgrade. You can have some uh, real game impact. What are your overall thoughts on this expansion? Is the Wheel of Life worth picking up for fans of Aventuria? So there's nothing included in Wheel of Life that you need to have. This expansion isn't a must-have expansion. It's not one of those cases where the game feels incomplete without it, but it is kind of nice to have. If you don't mind tracking health with cards, I didn't mind it. And I got to say, in all the games we played, which is a significant amount not now, I think I bumped my cards maybe once, maybe twice. That said, with the wheels, you don't have to worry about bumping at all. And I do dig the fact Ulysses Spiel put out gender swap versions of most, if not all, the heroes. Representation in games matters. I do wish they had included the hero cards as well. I think that's a, that's a miss on their part by not giving you everything you need in one box to swap those up. Now, if you already own the promo cards, you're going to have more of a reason to want to pick this expansion up than those who don't. Indeed, I think that's where this becomes really valuable is if you already have that additional cards and want the tokens especially to go yeah. with. Now, the Dragon Toast expansion, I got to say, is cool. I like it. It's a welcome addition to the game. Now, again, I don't feel you need it. I don't think uh, Adventure is a million times better when you use the Dragon Token. No, it's just kind of neat. It's cool. It does add a little bit more player control over the game. It gives you a new option. Being able to force opponents to reroll instead of fate normally, you can only affect your own rules. So I think that's cool. Since getting this expansion, we have used the Dragon Token in every game we played except playing on Tabletop Simulator where it doesn't exist. So we dig it. I, I appreciate having this. So looking at those two things, well, I guess three with the gender swap thing, the problem with this box to me is the price. Like, I get it. It can't be free. It can't be, and, and there's plastic screws, right? Like, those have got to be more expensive to make than little snap together things. And there is quite a bit of cardboard in here, and it's got a nice linen finish, and I realize that that has to be relatively expensive to make. But for a nice-to-have expansion with nothing that felt completely necessary, almost 25 bucks seems a bit high to me. Now, if you already have the gender swap cards, I could more easily justify 25 bucks. Yeah, there isn't a lot in this box at that price. You'd have yeah. to really dislike the using cards for your health to not at least wince a little bit at the, uh, the price for replacing them. Now, I do have to say, if you're a huge Adventuria fan and you just want all the stuff, grab it like it's not bad there's nothing wrong with this expansion there's no reason not to pick it up except that price now if you are playing with the gender swapped hero cards and you want your character tokens and life wheels to also match i think that's a very solid reason for picking up this expansion if you can't stand tracking health on cards and you're constantly bumping them or hitting with your sleeves or whatever in case you may be you have a cat that runs across your game table you might be able to justify the cost of this just to eliminate that potential problem for the rest of us, though, it's going to depend on your gaming budget. And I do strongly recommend every gamer have an actual gaming budget. If you dig Adventure and you got the budget for it, it's there, pick it up. You get an improved way to track health, you get some new gender options, and you get a cool little expansion. But if your budget isn't that high and you're, you're limited in what you can buy every month or what, every week or every year, whatever, however you have it set up, I would save up five more bucks 
and pick up an actual expansion with more bang for the buck, like Forest of No Return. That is the first adventure expansion for Aventuria that gives you two short missions, three long, one three act mission, and a new character, all for five dollars more than this expansion. So I honestly think that's a better choice if you're just looking to expand from the base set. And if you're really into dueling, well, it does cost more. Arsenal Heroes is going to be an expansion you'll probably be more interested in. That's one we reviewed and you can read about on our blog. Well, that's it for our look at Aventuria Wheel of Life. I invite you to read more about this game in the review section over the blog at tabletopbellhop.com.